So this one's just going from imagination. I like doing that because it's a lot like improvising with a, with an instrument. And for the next one, going again with the experimental aspect of this, I'm going to do something that I haven't done before, which is I'm going to find a picture from the newspaper to be inspired by. I'm not going to represent the picture exactly as it is, but I'm just going to find a picture and, and use that as the basis for the drawing. And I was looking for something expressive, some expressive facial expression. And for whatever reason, there wasn't anything in the news. And so I went to the sports section and there was almost nothing in the sports section either that had like an intense expressive face except for this one small picture of a basketball game but again this is not supposed to represent it's not it's not a painting of him it's just using his facial expression as a basis to as a jumping off point to start from and then to go back to as i go further along and get lost or whatever and this is a I haven't done this before, but I think I'll keep doing it because it it is nice to have that grounding to jump off from and reach out towards when I start to get uh, too far off track or something. It's just nice to have that grounding. In the beginning stages of this one, I'm just trying to find the expression and I'm trying to find a direction of movement. I like the feeling of being in motion that I get from the picture too. I'm trying to recreate that in some way. This is Arch's paper that I'm working on. I mean, if it's not the nicest watercolor paper you can buy, it's definitely up there, but it's totally worth it. I mean, it's so, the texture on it is perfect. The ability it has to absorb the paint into it is perfect. They've gotten watercolor paper down. It's it's the caviar of watercolor paper for sure. Without a doubt, probably even nicer. What's nicer than caviar? I don't know, but this is that. Another artist I like that I'm thinking about while I'm doing this is Ralph Steadman been a fan of Ralph Steadman's work for longer than I've known who Ralph Steadman is. Obviously, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, I saw that when I was a kid. There's a really great documentary about Ralph Steadman called For No Good Reason, and it's about his process and how he works, and you'll definitely come out of it wanting to create stuff. He's a very inspirational guy, I think. One of those people that has definitely deeply influenced my my style somewhat, but mo more just my attitude towards creating art, which is just make it, be open to spontaneity and new ways of seeing or thinking about what you're making. Just starting, being willing to let go of something being able to just find inspiration in life, shooting from the hip, being chaotic, but also able to control it and rein it in, also knowing when to stop. Yeah, Ralph Steadman's a, a great influence to have. You can definitely find worse.
hope you liked this series. I hope that you were able to get some ideas or inspiration. As always, if you find my work valuable, you can support it by going to parkerwinings.com. Thank you.